that a crackdown on illegal mining in Ghana has seen over 160 Chinese citizens detained. And this highlights the challenge posed by the illegal mining in Africa's second largest gold producer. China's foreign ministry complained to Ghana's president after its citizens were detained as part of the crackdown and to discuss the challenges facing gold mining, the gold mining industry in Ghana. I'm now joined on the line by Inusa Fusweni. He is Ghana's Lands and Natural Resources Minister. Thank you so much, Minister, for joining us today. And I think a good place to start is to get a sense of what the illegal mining activities is costing Ghana's gold mining industry at this time. Can you just talk us through the challenge you're facing there? Uh, thank you so very much. Uh, uh, thank you for this opportunity to, to uh, talk on the Ghana's position. I mean, illegal mining uh, is affected our environment in ways that are quite, cl quite clearly unacceptable. Uh, the illegal mining is degrading the environment, is denuding the forest cover, is uh, polluting our water bodies, is posing security challenges to people in, the, in those communities as the illegal miners now and then engage with them in shootout and, and those things. So, Clearly, I mean, even from the environmental, environmental point of view, I mean, we cannot allow uh, mining to take place in Ghana without recourse to the relevant laws that permit that activity to take place. All right. And I love uh, some of the reactions from the Chinese government. Um, there, there are some allegations that uh, the, uh, the Chinese citizens are badly treated as a result of this crackdown. Can you just react to that point, please? No, no. We give it clear guidelines and directives to the uh, tax force that is implementing the decision of the Interministerial Co Committee. Uh, they seize all equipment that are of illegal mining size and arrest uh, guardians and that guardians who are operating on the small scale mining sector illegally. Uh, with guardians, when they arrest them, they send them to the police station to be dealt with in accordance with the law. With the uh, foreigners, they hand them over to the Dysec District Security a, a Council for us to do some screening because we know that uh, 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 some people might be caught, caught in the crossfire, and so we need to provide a platform to engage in some sort of screening. And so no directive has been given to the Interministerial Tax Force uh, to, uh, to, to maltreat, brutalize, or harass any illegal buyer. In any case, most of these people who come into this country from other countries come without the requisite entry uh, permit. And so most of them are working there or are in the, in the country illegally. And so when the immigration takes them, they have to process them in the corners of the law and, and deport them. All right. So you're cracking down on legal minors. But can you talk us through the opportunities for legal minors, for foreign investors that are looking to play in Africa's second largest gold miner? Yes, the, the, the framework that we put in place for Biden the Ghana is largely divided into two. The small scale by this sector and the large scale by this sector. The law makes small scale by this the exclusive preserve of guardians. Largely because as a country we have a duty to provide employment for our people and we see the small scale by this sector as a potential employment avenue for the large numbers of people who want to go into small scale mining. We also have a duty to reduce poverty. All right. And what's the appetite from the large uh, miners, from foreign investors? What are you anticipating in terms of investment into Ghana? Well, investment continues to flow into the large scale sector. And last year alone, we received a lot of investment in the large scale sector. The large scale sector is open to all persons, national or non national, to engage in provided they obtain the requisite permits from the Business Commission and the Environmental Protection Agency of the Republic of Ghana. 